Rapper Sean Diddy Combs is facing numerous similar civil lawsuits pending against him as he awaits trial following a high-profile indictment. An attorney for the accusers announced that the rapper could face accusations of sexual abuse and exploitation from over 100 people in a series of lawsuits expected to be filed in various states over the next few weeks. Houston-based lawyer Tony Busby said he is representing 120 accusers who plan to file civil lawsuits across multiple states alleging crimes like sexual assault, rape and sexual abuse of minors in claims that will include many powerful people and many dirty secrets. In a notice, Layers for Combs requested that the Southern District of New York Second Circuit Court of Appeals reverse Judge Andrew Carter's decision to keep Combs incarcerated pending his trial. Judge Carter's reasoning for the decision was that Combs had allegedly tampered with witnesses who had been contacted as part of the investigation against him. According to the Associated Press, Combs was accused of drugging and raping a woman on several times. The woman, named as Jane Doe in the lawsuit, further claimed that she became pregnant during one of the encounters. In a documentary that was made available for streaming on Tubi, Combs attorney Mark Agnifilo discussed the leaked surveillance footage of Combs pushing and kicking his ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura. He called the indictment the takedown of a successful black man and stated that he does not anticipate Combs to take a plea deal. Talia Graves, who was 25 at the time, filed a federal lawsuit in New York, alleging that in 2001, when she was offered a glass of wine by Combs and Sherman, the alcohol caused her to become lightheaded, dizzy, and physically weak before she passed out and was sexually assaulted by the two men with her hands tied behind her back. It goes beyond just physical harm caused by and during the assault. Metropolitan Detention Center as the disgraced former cryptocurrency billionaire Sam Bankman fried. The former mogul is serving a 25-year prison sentence for conspiracy, fraud, and money laundering related to a scheme that cost former FTX customers, lenders, and investors several billions of dollars. Combs lawyers cited horrific conditions at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, New York in a request for bail, which included a $50 million bond offer, GPS monitoring and strict limitations on visitors, that was denied by U.S. District Judge Andrew Carter, who said the conditions weren't enough to ensure the safety of the community. In a memo submitted to New York Judge Robin F. Tarnofsky, Combs and accomplices are charged with using a Molotov cocktail to set fire to an unidentified person's car. This accusation is similar to one made by Combs' ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura, who claimed in a lawsuit filed last year that Combs destroyed rapper Kid Cudi's car. A federal court in Manhattan unseals charges against Combs for racketeering, sex trafficking and transportation to engage in prostitution, alleging he abused, threatened, and coerced women and others around him to fulfill sexual desires, protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct. The majority of plaintiffs who have filed lawsuits against the rapper have already been interviewed by federal investigators, sources told CNN. This could mean that prosecutors are looking to charge someone, even though no charges have been filed yet. Federal investigators may call Combs' accusers to testify before a grand jury in the near future. Plaintiff in a lawsuit filed in New York on Thursday, April Lampros accuses Combs of sexual assault during four terrifying sexual encounters that occurred between 1995 and 2001. Three of the meetings involved rape, and one incident had Combs pressuring her to consume ecstasy. In a 2003 lawsuit filed in Manhattan Federal Court, Former model Crystal McKinney claims the rapper drugged and sexually assaulted her at his New York recording studio. Ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura spoke out after Combs attacked her in a hotel corridor in a 2016 video that CNN obtained. Ventura wrote on Instagram that domestic abuse broke her and that she will always be recovering from her past. Combs later issued an apology for the footage. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. In February, 
Producer Rodney, Lil Rod, Jones sues the rapper in New York in February and alleges he was subjected to unwanted advances by associates of Diddy at his direction and was forced to engage in relations with sex workers he hired. In a set of widely covered allegations, Jones says in the lawsuit that Combs regularly hosted sex trafficking parties with underage women and illegal drugs, and implies record label executives who looked the other way financially benefited from access to celebrities and dignitaries like the British royal Prince Harry, who is not accused of any wrongdoing or of attending parties himself. Um, I took a year off straight working on this album. That album is the Love album, Off the Grid by Diddy. Um, and it's Grammy nominated right now as we speak. Um, I should be um, celebrating, but the truth is I'm not. Taking this album on has required so much time, um, you know, months and at, at, at a time, 16 hours, 24 hours a day. Um, sometimes, you know, Diddy would request certain works to be done and tell us don't go to sleep until it's done. And, and the truth is we'll be up for days trying to accomplish that. I've tried to get my business straight with them on this album, but the truth is they're not playing fair. They, they hit me on below the belt on so many situations, just just just, just dealing with this. It's, it's, the contract that they gave me and the offer that they gave me was just disgusting. The, 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 the producer fee, pennies. And on top of that, these guys are trying to steal my publishing. I can't go for that. So I'm fighting back. He's a fighter, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to put in this fight. I got to do it for myself, my rights. Combs is hit with another sexual assault suit in December, accusing the rapper of drugging and participating in a gang rape of the unnamed woman in 2003, when the accuser was 17 years old. A woman named Schwa Dickerson Neal alleges in a lawsuit Combs drugged her, sexually assaulted her and secretly recorded the assault while she was a college student in 1991. Similar to the Dickerson Neal lawsuit, this one was filed just before a New York law temporarily permitting lawsuits for older assault allegations that would normally be past the statute of limitations expired. An anonymous plaintiff accuses Combs and singer-songwriter Aaron Hall of raping her and a friend in 1990 or 1991 after meeting at an MCA Records event in New York. <laughs> and my whole thing is this, is that, yeah. is that if you never heard a girl say that no stuff trick shit about Aaron Hall, then you understand that less chill shit is some real shit. This can't handle me, I'm not gonna never let them get my last name. If you can't handle my, you ain't getting my last name. So I've been single for 50 years. <laughs> all, all right, man. Nah. <laughs> a whole lot of it out there from Jamie Foxx to like Denzel Washington to, yeah. to whoever. Everybody know me. Yeah. So sure everybody do. know if I say it, I get to, to death. Yeah. I like the fucking public, you feel me? Yeah. So say nothing about it. Them square ass. Yeah. I like for them to see how I like. If you speak yeah. to Joe to see or Puffy or not, any of them, yeah. they've been at my house. They all see my, they all know I'm a big. Yeah. <laughs> Cassie's $30 million suit is settled the day after it was filed for an undisclosed amount, with Ventura telling CNN she chose to resolve this matter amicably, while Combs' attorney says the settlement was in no way an admission of wrongdoing and didn't change his denial of the allegations. Cassie Ventura files the suit against Combs, alleging he raped her in 2018 and subjected her to a years-long abusive relationship that included physical abuse and his assertion of complete control over her personal and professional life. Thank you for watching, please like the video and subscribe to the channel, for more upcoming videos.